Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Anna and I'm a little bit spooky and today is part two of my 2020 favorites. And today we're talking about hair products. And of course I'm not having the best hair day in the world today, but here we are. <laughs> and we're gonna talk about some of the hair products I really enjoyed this year. Last couple of years I've really gotten into using hair products more so than I used to and getting into using more higher end luxury hair products and boy is there a difference in that and I also have some great drugstore <laughs> products to show you. So let's go ahead and get started. Recently added in this Shiwamura Shiki Worker and this is a blow dry serum. I'm going to put the information about the product on the screen, all the claims, but this has just been such a little game changer for me. It's a very thick, almost like a leave-in conditioner type of product, but not quite as heavy as a leave-in conditioner. And I focus this on the ends of my hair and it just kind of makes them look not as fried and damaged as they are. <laughs> Cause let me tell you, these, these blonde bits, they are fried. <laughs> They, they crispy, but uh, this kind of makes them look like they are not crispy and it just smooths out your hair, makes it feel really healthy. And I don't know, I love it. I think it's done some great things for my hairstyles. It's made my hair look just sleek and nice. It takes down the frizz. You can air dry with this in your hair or blow dry. And it just gives you a very sleek style. And I, I love that because I love a good either curl or very sleek hairstyle. I don't like a lot of frizz and I have a lot of frizz even though I have very thin hair. <laughs> it's very frizzy hair. It is really pricey however so that is a downside. I do think it is fantastic quality. It works so well. Uh, I do believe it can function as a heat protectant also. It is heavy so I would recommend don't get it at your roots, especially if you have thin hair like I do, very fine hair, it will weigh it down and it will look kind of oily. So I usually focus this one just really at the ends of the hair and it just kind of makes it look very sleek, smooth, and not fried. And that's really all I could ask for in a product like this. Next product I really enjoyed this year is the Kristen S Working Texture Spray. It's not like an obvious product, but it just gives your hair just something. It does something magic. And it is a not terrible price point. I think it's around $14 or $15 at Target. It has a very high-end feel about it. It has a nice fragrance and it just gives the hair a little life a little texture, a little movement, but it's hard to actually pinpoint what it is it's doing. It just does something good. And I have gone through a few of these and I really like it. The large size actually does last you quite a while. I've gone through a lot of the travel size because this was out of stock pretty often in my local Target. It does have a little bit of hold to it. Like I really like it on days when I have my hair curly, like if I've done the curling wand or if I have let my hair kind of air dry naturally and do its natural texture. This really just enhances that and it's a very good product and I highly recommend if you just need want something with a little bit just to kind of give your hair just a little oomph without being like a full-on hairspray or something it's just it's very soft doesn't feel gross uh, it just gives you what it says is a lived-in texture and yeah I hate that of my hair being like super clean feeling where it just doesn't do anything and it's super flat and limp this keeps kind of fixes that and it gives you that all the perks of second day hair without actually having second day hair and it also can revive your style on second day, second day, third day, fourth day, fifth day. And speaking of hairsprays, this one from Authentic Beauty Concept. This is their working hairspray. Oh my gosh. Okay, this this is the strongest hairspray I have ever used in my life. Like, do you want to install your hair into a full-on death hawk? This is the hairspray to use. It's like the got to be glued hairspray, only better because you can actually brush through it and use it as a regular hairspray and it holds your style so well. But it has some power and it can lock in your style. Hold it for days. <laughs> like it is so strong. Like that is a fantastic hairspray and it also tings flyaways. You can use it just as a quick once they're finishing spray with a light hand and it works great. It's been a really nice addition to my uh, hair product repertoire. Such a good hairspray. I honestly couldn't tell you the price point right now. Off the top of my head, but again, I will have information on the screen about these products and where you can purchase them down in the description box. I don't care if it doesn't smell super awesome. It works so, so good. Dry shampoo, of course. I'm going to talk about this one. The Dove Care Between Washes Volume and Fullness. This is my go-to dry shampoo, hands down. It will leave the white cast from hell in your hair. I don't recommend using this during the day. <laughs> 
product I have a very specific use for. I use it before bed. I put my hair in a pineapple bun on top of my head and I spray this through the roots. I wake up with volume and no oiliness or anything. And it's just great to allow me to have second day hair or sometimes third day hair and get away with it without having super oily hair because I have a very oily scalp and my roots of my hair get incredibly oily and gross. This just keeps it from happening. It's magical. You can use this like you know, during the day, obviously, you just really want to work it into the scalp because it is very powdery. It has a nice kind of dove floral old lady fragrance, but I like that kind of fragrance. And this has just become a holy grail, fantastic jar shampoo. I think this might have even been my last year's favorites. And one more little hairspray. What is going on? See, I'm gonna have like a crazy hair day because I'm talking about hair stuff. It's just nothing's gonna work with me. Do I ever really have a good hair day though? That's that's a good question. I have hair days and then I have bad hair days. Let's put it that way. There's no no real good ones. I'm always fighting my hair. Last little hairspray hair product thing I want to talk about is the L'Oreal Root Magic Patch Up. This is my little savior product right here. Did you get foundation in your hair? Does it look weird? A little bit of this will hide it. Do you got roots showing? This will take care of it. And it does give your hair a little bit of texture and kind of gives that little bit of a dry shampoo vibe. It is very messy at first. When you first put it on, mm. don't touch it <laughs> unless you need to, unless it like splatters or gets weird. You can kind of go in and blend it a little bit, which is nice that you have that flexibility with it. So you're not stuck with where you put it is where it stuck, you know, stays if, if you make a mistake with it. There is a learning curve with this. You do have to be careful. It does sputter a little bit. It will get on your face. So I recommend doing this before you do your makeup, really, because you'll get little speckles on your face. What it does is it dries down to a powdery finish and really stays into your hair until you shampoo it. It may come off on your pillowcase during the night. I do experience that occasionally if I put like a lot of it in, but I haven't noticed it like melting or anything. It's so like, I've used this for years since this product basically came out, I think about two years now, and I haven't had a Ruby Giuliani moment. So I don't know what kind of hair dye temporary color he was using, but I don't think it was this, because this has never done me wrong like that. It usually takes shampoo to really stick them out of my hair. <laughs> been fantastic. It keeps me from having to color my hair as often. I can just run it through right here like in my part or whatever and it buys me some time until I can go get hair color or do it or whatever. Really nice if you have very thin hair like I do. I have very thin fine fine hair. Uh, there's a, a good bit of it. It's just very limp, sad, depressed, lanky hair and my scalp shows a lot through my hair. Like that is pet peeve of mine. I have, um, you can see my scalp like crazy. Like if I do my hair up, you can see scalp. I have to be very careful with it. My hairline goes up pretty high behind my ears and I can spray some of this in there. This is the black shape. I usually use dark brown and it just makes my hair look thicker. It looks like I have more hair and it just, it's just, it is magic. <laughs> the, the name Root Magic is true. So I'm, I would recommend this, especially if, you know, if you don't like the look of your scalp peeping through a whole lot or you got roots you need to fix, you can't go wrong with her. Just be careful. <laughs> it, it can be messy. I have enjoyed so much the products from Overtone this year. If you've been here a little while or this whole year, you've seen me go through a few hair transformations. I had purple hair. I had dark golden brown hair. I've had rose gold hair. I've had pea yellow hair. I've had a lot of hair colors this like last year and a half, really. I've kind of cycled back around to where I was at my natural hair color. And now here we are at a soft black and white streak. My skunk hair, and I love it. This is the hairstyle I've wanted since I was a kid. Overtone hair color has been the color I've used predominantly throughout that. This is the pastel silver and I use it to kind of help tone my hair. This is the uh, conditioner, but uh, they have the conditioners, they have uh, the hair color itself, and they have like varying levels of pigment within their range, and they're so good. They're excellent products. I honestly can't recommend Overtone enough for color, the quality. It conditions your hair so well and leaves your hair in such a beautiful, 
beautiful state after you use it. Good hair loving ingredients in their products. Overtone colors in general have just been fantastic this for me this year. I've loved working with them and I've loved using the products. They've really had some great vibrancy when I like the purple. Oh, my hair looked amazing when it was purple. I loved it so much, but I swapped over to this and I have been loving it. And the pastel silvers really help kind of maintain a blonde without it looking too brassy. Some shampoos that I have loved this year have definitely been, I think the standout favorite from all the shampoos and different products like that I have used throughout 2020 would be the John Frieda Purple Shampoo and Conditioner for Brassiness. Smells beautiful, especially for a purple shampoo. You know those, if you use them a lot, they can really, really stink. <laughs> they smell gross sometimes. And the John Frieda ones actually smell really nice. And I feel like they are fairly effective. They're quite pigmented. And I've really enjoyed using them. I've repurchased them a few times throughout this year. And let's move on to hair tools. This little guy, this is a Revlon styler or something. I will put it on the screen what it is and a picture of it that is better because mine is not in a pretty state. So we don't need to look at it anymore. But this thing is my little lifesaver. I section my hair off into two sections because again, I don't have thick hair. And I let my hair air dry about 75% of the way dry, almost 80%. And then I go in with that, use it to finish drying the hair, smooth it out, and it just does amazing things. It gives you volume, it gives you smoothness, happiness to your hair, and it's so easy and quick. I, mm, I love it. I will say that it does get very hot, so definitely use a heat protectant with it, and I only use it on the low setting. I use the uh, lowest warm setting to do the under part of my hair, or my first sections, and then by the time I get to the top section, the wand brush itself is quite hot at that point, so I switch it to cool, and then finish off my hair that way, and it works great, and I don't feel like I'm damaging my hair as much, and I'm not blow drying and sitting there with the round brush trying to do a blowout. That just makes it so quick and easy. It's one tool and it's around 60-ish dollars. I can probably find it cheaper for you online. Again, I'll link it down below. It has just been a fantastic product and I love it. And I highly recommend that if you want something quick and easy just to do your hair in the morning and not have to worry about it. That's a fantastic product. I've never been one to really get into doing hair. I don't enjoy styling hair at all. Hate it, in fact. And so it's a, this year has been a little bit of a journey with branching out, trying new hair tools and trying a little bit higher quality hair products and have really seen a difference. And I've been impressed with the majority of the higher end hair products I've used. Anyway, my hair has been on quite the journey this year and we've been on quite the journey with each other. It was very short and it looked like a mullet at one point. We've grown out, we've gotten long. I still feel like it is fairly healthy considering all the mistreatment I do to it. Yeah, I try my best to keep it happy and healthy and let it grow out to where it used to be down to my butt. I still still do not bring up that haircut from last year. I'm still mad, very mad about that. I went in for a trim, came out with hair up right here in a mullet looking business. Ooh, twice the length it was then. It's finally grown out to a place where I'm happy with it trying to love on it and be nice to it while still styling it and having fun with my hair bleach and all that. But anyway, we have gone through quite a few colors, a lot of treatments. We've lifted color, we've removed color, we've bleached, we've added color. It's My hair has been through it this year and I think it has been quite resilient considering the torture I've put through. But uh, yeah, these are some of the products that really stood out to me throughout this year that I have enjoyed. And all the products I talked about will be linked down below in the description box. If it's an Amazon link, it is an affiliate link. I do have an Amazon storefront. So if so, when you make a purchase through that link, I make a very tiny commission, but it is a commission nonetheless, and it does help me out. And I can turn around and use that towards purchases to help out the channel, such as ring lights and things like that light bulbs for my lights. <laughs> That's usually what I end up spending them on. So if you want to support my channel, the links are down below to shop from the Amazon store. And if it's not an Amazon store link, it is not an affiliate link. <laughs> so just 
disclaimer there. I will see you guys in the next installment of my favorites of 2020. Leave me down below in the comments some hair products you think I need to try. Donna, I've got a whole list of stuff from your hair collection video that I, I need to go buy. That dang Bumble and Bumble and all your fancy hair products she's trying to sell me on. <sighs> okay, I'll see you guys later. Bye now.